my biggest detractors in life have probably been my best motivators. There's a lot of times I think, especially in some of the previous communities that I've been in, that I've had someone come and attack me. And I probably would have stepped aside after reasoning, reaching some uh, measure of success. But instead, they talked trash and it motivated me and I stayed in it. So I think there's a lesson to be taught in that. I think for so many men out there, they get wor they're worried about being critiqued or not being liked or being slandered by some troll on Twitter or some other useless social media out there that provides absolutely no value in the real world. They, it's typically people that uh, are either jealous of you personally or what you've accomplished or aren't doing anything themselves and maybe they're projecting their insecurities on you. So you gentlemen out there need to be working while they're looking at you, while they're giving you a hard time, while they're talking smack behind your back, while they're concerned about what everyone's thinking about them or what their think what their thoughts are on others, you keep working, keep building, keep becoming the person that you want to be. Keep working on things that are going to provide value in this world, the things that are going to provide value to the people around you, the people, the things that are going to actually bring some measure of success to you that may not just be quantifiable in money or in reputation but also something that can also change the world. Keep working on these things, something that you believe in. So while they're talking, you just keep working. While they're worried about what everyone else is doing and what everyone else is saying, you keep working. There's no reason why later down in the, in the future, you're going to look back and they're going to be, they're going to realize the, 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 the strides that you've taken in your life and they're going to see what you've accomplished and what they do. All I did was talk the whole time. So that's the first thing lesson that I really wanted you guys. I'm seeing too many of you guys out there being discouraged by outsiders, armchair quarterbacks trying to tell you what you're doing wrong when they're faceless trolls or people who are, aren't doing anything or providing any value to others out there keep working guys keep working that's just part of being a masculine man is that you need to let those things be water off a duck's back and don't even waste your time addressing them you can't change their mind all they want to do is they want to bring you down with them they want the attention that you will bring to them by calling them out and rebutting all of their fake and weak and uh, arguments and the lies that are spewing out of their mouths. And they're, the problem is, is they really believe those lies too. And most of the time they don't even have facts behind them. You guys, you don't want to uh, uh, wrestle in the mud with a pig. Number one, it takes you down to their level. Number two, you both get dirty. And number three, the pig likes it. Don't give the pig the satisfaction. Let them talk their smack. You just keep working. So, Another thing I want to talk about here for masculinity for you men today is not to be intimidated by women. I think it's very, very much a proponent of our generation now for men to be intimidated by women. I don't think that's masculine at all. And I'm not the only one out there that believes this. I could probably give you a list of people that believe this. But I also want to make the expectation, guys, that as part of a masculine man, it doesn't need to be toxic. That doesn't mean you talk down to women. It doesn't mean you treat women any differently than with the respect that they deserve. In fact, in my opinion, I would make the argument that because you're not intimidated by women and because you have the masculinity to offset their, their emotional intelligence that they have, that you actually treat women better as a, as a result of that. So, uh, guys, don't be intimidated, intimidated by women, treat them with respect, and in fact, even love and treasure them for it. That's the differences between all of us here. So I'm Kenny B of E3, aka Kinetics, professional investor, and the guide to helping you be the best man of your life. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. Love to hear what you guys are thinking out there. Guys, have a great night.